Hey, how's it going? Okay, well today I'm going to show you how to install a trailer hitch on one of these Volvo 700 or 900 series vehicles. 740, 760, 940, 960, and the S90s and the V90s presumably. Now this is an 88 760 wagon and I've got a used trailer hitch which is a factory Volvo hitch. I got one from the salvage yard and I'm going to put that on here on this wagon. It's real easy to do. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to, of course, get you a good place to lay on the ground. It's, we won't have to lay in the mud or anything. And then you're going to need to come down here and look at this bottom side. And right here behind the bumper, you have a apron of a deal. And it's got several fasteners that are 8 millimeter bolts. Roughly, it's got one right here, approximately right here approximately and there's two uh, on the, each side there so in the next step I'll show you where those are exactly okay then we're looking at the side of this apron back here and you see there's the wheel so there's uh, one of these eight mil bolts right there and then back towards the corner there's another and that mirrors each side and then uh, we're looking at the back right here where the trailer hitch I'm sorry the tow hitch it used to be before it broke off can you believe that's a plastic I think that's plastic it sure is so you got one there and then you're going to come around and look I hope I'm going to have you in frame here but you're going to have one right back here behind the uh, other side there and then you got the two Let me turn your right side up here I can do it carefully Whoops, did I push a wrong? Well, nope, I'm good. Having to do this upside down, so I'm not too good at this. So you got the two over here. And uh, you may have something up there at the front by the wheel that clips that on. See, the other one didn't. The other one had mud flaps. I took that hitch off of it, had mud flaps on it. So we might need to investigate that. But that should get this thing off. Um, you may want to go ahead also and drop this muffler clamp. <sighs> Now you got, on this thing you got a bolt or two over, let's see. Bear with me, I know you're upside down. Let me see, you got one bolt over here, looks like. It holds this one on, and another one that's over here. There's two over on this side, so yeah, I wouldn't bother trying to take that thing off, because it's this one's not that bad, but the other one, this clamp's rusty, and I just, that's a fight that I don't want to have. So you may want to do that, uh, loosening and removing the bolts out of this stuff for the exhaust in concert with taking this back part off. Now those are the two bolts that you're going to use. There's two on each side. They're already there. See, they're right there kind of above the muffler. That's why the muffler probably needs to be dropped a little bit out of the way. And then, let's see look back over here what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the remains of this tow hitch <laughs> whatever you want to call it tie down hook that got snapped off yesterday when this car got put on a rollback that's another, another story for a later date but uh, we're gonna take those out and use those two bolt holes right there so that's what we gotta do now so let's get going on that and then I'll catch back up with you in a bit. All right, earlier I said I figured there would be some way to attach this uh, valance panel that I'm taking off to put the hitch on, uh, a way to uh, attach it at the ends, and there it is. It's right here behind the wheel on each side. Let's see where we're at. There's gonna be another one of the eight millimeter bolts. I had to scrape some undercoating off of this one. Uh, to socket on it but well I guess we're not going to focus on that bolt today there it is anyway take that out there we go it's pulled off so you can see the mounting areas more clearly hopefully to the back to on each side and this one I'm not going to reuse this one because one thing this one's damaged got melted somehow I guess from the exhaust obviously and number two, you have to cut out a piece of this for the hitch to go through. So I've got the one off the donor car. Donor car, where have I heard that before? The donor car. 
<laughs> kidding, Robert. Uh, that I'm going to use because it's already cut out. Normally, Volvo would supply you with a template to put on here to know where to cut it, but we're not going to worry about that because I already got another one. So, so let's get busy with that part of this and get this hitch slammed in here and put back together. Okay then, so here's the hitch that we're going to put on, and this is a factory Volvo hitch with this weird ass size receiver that we don't have here in the U.S. You have to find an adapter, you have to have it welded down, but I'm just basically putting this on for looks because we're going to get ready to sell this car soon, so that's just something else to be a selling point. This thing uses four bolts per side, and you've got two bolts with a spacer for up here, two more short bolts for a spacer for right there, you've got two more short bolts that go up here, front left, and then pay particular attention back here, these are long bolts, they have to go through this hitch, so they are left rear, like that. And the holes are already here. Uh oh, I'm doing a lot. There it is. Hang on a second. The uh, hitch holes for it are already on the frame. Real easy to get to. This is where we took the. Uh, okay, this is where we took the broken uh, toe hitch off. There's two there, two there. Four that are over here. Yeah, they are. I'm flying blind with my camera. There's the two fronts and the two rears. I'm gonna take something and kind of clean those out first. Take one of the bolts and run it up into each of those before you try to do it with a hitch on it. Okay then, that's how you do it, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, a little snag here over on the right side. This dumb car had a lip made onto the frame right here that I had to end up flattening down as far as I could to get the hitch to sit down flat on there. What a dumb idea that was to put that there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there's the hitch installed. Yeah. Alrighty then, so I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what it looks like under here, off to the end over there too. So now we get to, what the hell's that? Now we get to uh, put our valance panel back on.